Tell us a bit about yourself and what's the story so far. Okay, first thing you need to know is I'm a scientist. I'm a chemist actually. So I'm a member of the Royal Society of Chemistry and a chartered chemist. And I've had a proper job too. So I've actually worked as a chemist in labs and things. So I've worn a white coat, worked in technical service, in research and development, inventing things, solving problems. There are patents out there with my name on them. So I've sort of been there and done that. Then I did an MBA and moved into consulting and management and uh, spent probably about 10 years working with firms, helping them sort out where they want to go in the future and how they want to get there. And as a result of this future oriented work, one of the key things that started to pop out increasingly was graphene, and that got my attention. So it's suddenly I found some way I can manage, marry up the stuff I'm interested in back with science, hurrah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm now writing about graphene on a regular basis. I'm a senior editor at Investor Intel, a blog which specializes in new materials and, uh, and also uh, improving the understanding of investors in new science and applying new research into business. Uh, I'm also on the advisory board of the National Graphene Association in America, and I'm having fun writing about graphene. You'll see more on the blogs on the site. And my key thing really, I suppose, is to try and take all that science and that business stuff and look at the complexity, extract out the really key things and tell you guys about them. And if you can understand that at the end of the day, and if you find it interesting, then I consider that a worthwhile use of my time.